All right, we are back. Let's go ahead and get this fifth and last match underway. We are playing for, like, nothing. 50 play points, so half an entry to the next entry, or to the next tournament, which isn't terrible. I mean, if you can at least maintain a positive win percentage, you could keep doing this infinitely. I can live with that. Uh, minor tweaks over the course of a week. I don't make money from this. I never have. The entirety of my time doing this previously, I didn't make a single cent. So, yeah, I don't mind that being able to go infinite off of it a lot easier than trying to do singletons because leagues are a lot better than what was available to me originally. So hopefully we can keep this going. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep trying to do it as is, and we will tweak and adjust. We may change decks at some point. We may not. I know that there are card rental places out there, but I really don't feel like giving some place $40 a month or whatever they're charging these days. Last time I looked, which was a while back, oh, hey, look, I get to start it first again. And this is a fine hand. I got some removal. I got some acceleration. I don't really have much to win the game with, but we can find that. So I will keep this. And we're going to start off. Hmm. I am going to get the Bayou. And we're going to go for zero. We'll see. Oh, I almost skipped my turn. We'll see what happens with that. I'm baiting the Bayou, even though black is the heavier color for us, because I have two swords in hand. What do we got? Elvish Reclaimer. Guess what, buddy? I have a solution to that. And one of my own. I don't know if that was the right call. So far, Reclaimer has been a little lackluster. Uh, but it could be just about anything in the future. Like, this turns into Wastelands. And yeah, he was short a card. A creature. Oh, nope, he's got a Vajuka Bog. Let's go ahead and get to the end of the turn. Oh, that's... Hmm. That puts it in tapped. So... Getting a wasteland doesn't solve that. Do I want to kill that? I think I do. Hey, he sacrificed a land for it. I'm going to go ahead and play that and I'm going to attack with my Dryad Arbor. I don't think that he'll do anything. Next turn, I can grab a Fetch Land. And that'll give me double black. And I can start forcing sacrifices. Zenith for one. Uh, we want to, until the end step, pay two, sacrifice the land. We're going to go get a fetch land. That goose is interesting. Let's go get the scrub land. We're going to play Liliana and force him to sacrifice a creature. And 
and that's our turn. Next turn, we could sacrifice this to go get another land. Gaia's Cradle. That's going to go get a Progenitus, I assume. Traxa. One of each type. What are you going to show me? Okay. This is interesting, interesting. Chooses Green Sun Zenith, Verdant Catacomb, White of the Reliquary. Verdant Catacomb, you didn't keep Endurance, Misty. Didn't keep Cradle, kept White. What is this? Okay, four to just play it. There was probably something else on there. Um... So yeah, we can bounce a Traxa. She's legendary. So we can turn this Dryad Arbor into that. That still keeps us at five. Then we can revive the... Yeah. Hmm. We can block a Traxa with this. Is this whenever it attacks or blocks? Just when it reveals. Flying Vigilance, Death Touch, Lifelink. Okay. I think... I think, I think, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we keep going with the original plan. This putting it into play tapped hurts, but it's okay. Six cards. We know three of them. Zenith for one. That's an ignoble. Yep. There is that. That. There's a white. Yep. Oh, crap. When I sacrifice this, I can't get him back that way. Uh, but maybe we'll get something else out of it. We'll see. We can make another food token, at least. Yeah, your white's going to be fine. I get it. I know why this card is good. I just don't care is really the answer. Like, I don't feel like he's going to be able to replay a Traxa. Another green Sun Zenith for zero, so that's a Dryad Arbor. If he attacks me, I think I let it through. He's attacking Lily. If it was Grixis, I'd be okay with it. But it's Lily, so that's the problem. Uh, I'd like to yield until end step. I would like to cancel all, turn off auto yields. I would like to block. I would like to create a food token. So I need a green. That hmm. and we're going to go ahead and sacrifice this. We're going to keep up with the plan. Vexing bubble, this can be put into the graveyard. And 
and let's go grab the other one. Outlier, this can also be put into the graveyard. All right, three cards. We're hoping for a land that can come in untapped. Endurance, not a land that can come in untapped. But we can at least, oh, that's got Vigilance. We can kill that, though. Looks like we're going to lose Lily. I could have let Lily go. I don't think that was the right choice, though. So we can play this Cyclist Graveyard back in if he tries to fetch out more. If he goes for Lily, we can defend Lily. It's going for both. Green, green. Let's deal with his graveyard. Now he's got to think about it. lifelink on it. I didn't notice there was lifelink on it. That's okay. Oh, he sent that at me. Okay. Yeah, your white is fine. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have actually made us discard. I could go look for the thing. Vexing Bubble. I could have grabbed Volrath Stronghold, putting two up, putting it back on top of my deck. Um, which takes five to do at instant speed with the Vexing Bubble. Three to put it up, six to put it, yeah. And I can't do it at instant speed. This doesn't put it in tapped, does it? Tapped, okay. Does this put it in tapped? Tapped, okay. So only Knight of the Reliquary does untapped. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Uh, I need a stop on my upkeep. I don't know which one's mine. Okay, bottom must be mine. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, because that's them and this is me. They should put this in the middle. But then I guess it messes up the red zone, but you could turn it red, too. Once upon a time. Grabbed a noble hierarch. Okay. There's the noble hierarch. Uh... So we need to draw before we do the other stuff. Let's go ahead and draw now. Hey, look at that. That's awesome, by the way. Going for Caracas there, big guy. I completely forgot about grabbing Caracas this whole time. Talon Gate, what does this do? One target creature phases out. 
No problem. Yep. That's fine. You've already declared attackers. I don't have to worry about the rest of this BS. Let's go ahead and get... Is there anything in the yard that I actually want back? Uh, Liberator, not needed. The Metamorphose is nice. Comes back. Can grab Goose. Can start attacking. Can grab the Liberator. He doesn't have any enchantments. So no, there's not actually something there that I want that way. And as far as the land goes, let's sacrifice that one. We have all of our colors out there. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, I was wondering why that existed. And now I know. He's got Noble Hierarch. Okay, so he has enough to just recast the damn thing. I am going to get the Stronghold then. And that's it for me for the turn. Let's go ahead and... I guess I should have grabbed the Caracas. We're going to put this creature on top of my library. Black one. Oh, we're waiting for him. Ah, ah, got it. He is casting Endurance. Okay. deal with the white and then we make him discard and that's the end of our turn so he could hit us for nine that would be a problem a whole bunch of weird things Oh, oh, we're still sitting at my declare attacker steps. I was like, I've skipped the turn. What's happening? Uh, we don't have any other. Yeah, I should have let Lily take the hit. I should have. Ooh. Where are you going? You're coming to me, right? Yeah, he's coming to me. She's coming to me. I think we take this one. Do I have an out? One block keep stop. Let's force him to sacrifice a creature. Gotta aim here, otherwise oh, wrong. Undo. Yeah, can't be countered, can't be targeted. It was a hope. Um, That's going to come at us, this is going to come in, that's going to come in. I have to block there and there, I still take one, that's game. Uh, not game. That's game, what am I thinking? 
It's game. Yeah, a library would not have fixed it. Let's see, you have the idea that you're playing up high. So let's deal with your creatures and force you to come play down low. Okay. We didn't see a single artifact. So we're going to pull out the Liberator. And that's what we're going to run with. Uh, vexing Bubbles aren't necessarily good here. Let's get those back in. So we'll keep the Thoughtseize. I'll keep the both Inquisitions, actually. And we'll ditch all three Vexing Bubbles. Anything else? Like, I could stop the Natural Order. I could stop the Green Sun. That seems like it's not a terrible idea. And drop one of those, and then we call that. Yes, I would like to play first. No, I want a mulligan this hand. I, I wish I could keep a no lander and have it be effective, but I can't. And we can keep this. Again, it's it's not a lot of not a lot of once we're live stuff, but oh god, no, I want that back. Cancel, cancel. Ooh, ooh. Put that in there. Oh dear lord. I wanted to play this land. And that's the end of my turn. Do you have something, sir? Or madam? Or other? Got a hierarchy. I will source this. Let's go ahead and play out the bayou. And put something on the ground. I had a buddy way back when that played a variant of my list that instead of going for the Green Sun Zenith and everything else route would play the uh, Natural Order route. And it was never a great matchup for me. So, not surprised here. Hey, that's helpful. Always yield to that. Um, he can one two sacrifice the forest to be able to go get and this is land. So we will go at it this route. Can do. I don't think he'll attack this or block that. If he does, it puts him back down to one. It gives me a huge lead. Another Reclaimer. That's a goose. Not necessarily useful, but I can do stuff with it. Second Arbor.
debating killing that, but short of land. Um, that's interesting. We'll see if he does anything at the end of his turn. Or at the end of our turn. Hard cast endurance. You know, I just don't give a shit about endurance right now. Congratulations, you can stop my bird. My zero two bird. That if I hooked something on, it would be a one three. Again, I don't think I am as concerned about this. I guess I should have killed that when I had the opportunity. There's a cradle. End of turn, we'll create a food token. Oh. It is not just two. I think I will end of turn also eat this finally. He may make it go invisible. Yeah. So there it is, the invisible thing. But that means that that's not available for Caracas. Yep. And there's a grist. Okay. Let's go ahead. And Close the damage. He's only got two cards in hand. We have the removal for everything. He can't have another one of these, right? He's getting ready to... Oh, he's looking for black. What on earth could you want at black? Snuff out. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. This gives trample too, right? Okay, I don't want to do math. Yep, that's game. That was on me. And you know what? That's okay. Things happen. We learned some things. We learned uh, about the green black show and tell deck or uh, natural order deck. And that's all right. We'll figure out what we can do to tweak this. We'll move away a little bit from what we're doing, move into some other things. I think I don't want Bobble's main board. I would like to put them in the sideboard. And we'll see what happens after that. But until next time. I will see you all again later. Bye-bye.